Hello, welcome to Neoscribe. Take a look at just about anything around you, and there's a good chance that it's made in China. And if it's not, there's a good chance it's being copied in China. But in the future, with the advent of industrial 3D printing, just about everything around you will be made in your home state or even your hometown. Sales of industrial 3D printers are expected to rise over $18 billion by 2021. For this video, we're going to zero in on 3D metal printing technology, which will be the centerpiece of a new industrial revolution. The global manufacturing industry is almost $13 trillion, which means 3D printing technology has the potential to be the most disruptive technology since the personal computer. But before we talk about that, let's quickly cover how 3D metal printing works. First, a design is created using a drafting program. Next, the printer receives the instructions and prints the product using very thin layers of metallic powders and binding substances. We're talking very thin layers, around 0.1 millimeters thick. It's a lot more complex than that, but this technology is groundbreaking and is improving rapidly. And this brings us to Desktop Metal, one of the most exciting startups in the world. Desktop was founded exactly three years ago in October 2015 by a handful of MIT material science and engineering professors. And what they've done in just three years is absolutely remarkable. In just three years, Desktop has filed 100 patent applications involving around 200 inventions. And they've grown from a handful of MIT professors to 226 employees, 90% of them engineers. In 2018, they won numerous awards including Digital Trends Emerging Tech Award. And even more impressive, they raised $277 million in venture funding from major companies such as Ford, BMW, and GE Ventures, making Desktop the fastest company to reach a value of $1 billion in US history, just 21 months after its founding. But what makes them so special? Well, Desktop has been developing massive 3D printers that are truly revolutionary. The printers are almost two meters tall and almost five meters long, and they'll be able to print 100 times faster than the existing high-end printers and at 1 20th the cost. And the printers can produce products out of a variety of metals, including various types of steel, aluminum, and copper. With Desktop's technology, parts and products will be cheaper, lighter, and more efficient than the ones manufactured by traditional printing methods. Even more exciting is that the parts will be produced much faster. Parts that usually take hours to fabricate will take mere minutes. In the time it would take to produce 12 airplane propellers using current printing methods, desktop printers can produce 560. Lumanium, an engine manufacturing startup, is an early user of desktop printers. And they reduced the production time of their saddle carriers by 43% and reduced the production costs from $980 to $148. So aside from making products faster and cheaper, this technology will allow products to be ordered on demand without a minimum order, and consumers will be able to customize their orders in ways that normally would be too expensive to be practical. Industry experts believe that even planes and cars will be 3D printed in the future. And this technology will allow factories to be smaller and allow them to be located anywhere in the world regardless of labor conditions. But what can we expect from desktop and the 3D metal printing industry at large? So far, the early adopters of 3D metal printing have largely been the aerospace, biomedical, and jewelry industries. But we should expect to see a wider and wider adoption in the next 5 to 10 years as the technology improves and becomes more affordable. Desktop has already sold over 350 printers to major companies including Caterpillar, Ford, and Google. And they have a backlog of orders worth around $120 million. And Desktop Metal is just one of a large list of 3D metal printing manufacturers. There are at least 24 other companies developing 3D metal printers ranging from other startups to big names like HP who recently launched their Metal Jet technology. So as all of these companies compete against each other, the technology will continue to improve rapidly. And while mass adoption of 3D metal printing technology won't happen overnight, in the future, just about everything around you will be made in a small factory near you. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.